Happy Children's Day to all my friends. I'm Rana Jai. So today, Happy Children's Day for all of you. Yes, it's 14 no November right now. Yes, that is the a day when it is Children's Day, and also the bird birthday of our first Prime Minister of India, who is Pandit. Jawaharlal Nehru the first prime minister of india not president okay so i am going to say something about children's day oh. so children's day was actually uh, was actually created by pandit jawaharlal nehru yes he loved he loved he actually loved kids, adored kids, and his own birthday. So, his birthday was actually was actually Children's Day or 14 November. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. His birthday is 14 November 1889. Wow, that's very old. Okay, now here's this question. When is Children's Day celebrated? I, and I mean, when is the Children's Day or the date of the Children's Day is? And when does it happen? Or when did it happen? Well, Children's Day is celebrated each year on the birth anniversary of India's first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. So, so it means that Children's Day is celebrated each year on the birth anniversary of a of the first prime minister of india pandit jawaharlal nehru that's his birthday november november 14th which is which is on november 14th it is celebrated each year if so yes okay now for here's the second one why do we celebrate children's day mrs ash mrs action why and why do we all in this in india have to celebrate this day well answer well the answer is children's day is celebrated as a tribute to nehru yes a true boot to Nehru or well you know Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru now Nehru fondly called Chacha Nehru yes he was fond fondly means means famously called Chacha Nehru yes was born on 14 November 1889 yes that's the but that's the but anniversary of him he was known for his affection for kids yes he was known for his affection for kids and his affection was loving he loved kids <clears throat> yes he actually loved kids so that's why his birthday was actually children's day <clears throat> yes Now, he also established Children's Film Society India in 1955 to create Indigenous sim Cinema exclusively, exclusively for kids. And what well, it means, he also, also created a Children's Film Society in India in 1955. That that society is actually used for creating children's film for kids or a children's film or children's cinema for exclusively for kids yes and well it is very old because it started in 1955 to create indigenous cinemas which is literally for kids yes well, you can't watch them right now. Well, you can watch it. 
watch them now I think if you can then Europe if you can then never mind now now who started children's day well the fastest answer might be Pandit Nehru but but I'll just talk it in a long way now before 1964 that's the year when he died India celebrated Children's Day on November 20. That the United Nations observed it on this day. It means that before the the year before the year when uh, Nehru died. No, not not super. Yeah, okay. Now, now before 1954, that's the year before. That's the year when. Nehru died. India actually celebrated Jesus Day not on 14 November, but just six days ahead, November November 20. The United Nations actually observed it on this day. Uh, yes, the United Nations actually observed it. Observed that November 20 was Children's Day before the death of. of Jawaharlal Nehru. Now, now, however, after the death of Pandit Nehru in 1964, it was decided that his birthday we celebrated as Children's Day. Means after the death of Pandit Nehru or Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in 1964, the UN decided that the UN in India decided. Uh, to make to make Pandit Nehru's birthday into Children's Day. Wow, much sooner for programs, programs, music, music, dance competition or music competition, and these are celebrated, used for celebrating Children's Day. Yes, uh, you might think it's a holiday, but no, it's actually just. Exactly, just a school festival, of course. Now, along with being an able administrator, Nehru enforced the establishment of some of the most prominent education institutions in India. And his vision led to establishment of AII, AII, MS, IIT and IIM, IIM. Okay, anyways, Nehru have has left behind a legacy of education for the children of India. It means Nehru has left behind a lot of education for the children, lot of educa education for all the children in India. Yes. Now, he once said, the children of today will make the India of tomorrow. The way we bring them up will determine the future of the country. Means he's saying that children of today will make the India of tomorrow. And it will determine the future of our country. Yes, I'm a children, so maybe I can do it. Now, now who called Nehru? Cha Cha Ji. Now, well, this question might be a bit funny, but actually, there is no documented reason for Nero being called Cha Cha Ji. Yes, means there is no exact answer why why Jawahar Nehru was actually called Cha Cha Ji. Or, well, I'm not talking about Cha Cha Nehru. It's Cha Cha Ji. Now, however. It is said that his love for children was a major reason behind the coinage of this town. Means it is said that the love that the love of his love of love that his love for children was uh, was the very exact reason behind the behind the the mystery of this term. Yes, yes, the children used to call him Cha Cha Ji. Maybe. Now another popular version is that is that Nehru was close, was very close Mahatma Gandhi. Means 
another ready another answer is that Nehru was very close to Mahatma Gandhi even though he doesn't have a bald head <laughs> okay okay never mind now now another popular version is that Nehru was very close to Mahatma Gandhi whom he considered his elder brother wow so is so so um Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is elder brother is Gandhi ji absolutely not i think absolutely not i think cuz does it have the last name of its of of Jawaharlal of Nehru's last name i think maybe not maybe not yes it absolutely not now while gandhi was known as bapu yes that's the popular name for him nehru became came to be known as chacha ji well gandhi ji chacha ji i mean chacha ji what's the difference of course the pe- the person of course now is children's day a holiday well you might think it is but actually it's a complete no why Because Children's Day is not a gazetted holiday. On the contrary, contrary, schools organize various events such as competitions, music competitions, dance competitions, music and dance performances to celebrate the day. These are all the things that are used to celebrate the day. Music, get your speakers, microphones, and also wear all your fancy dresses. So to prepare we prepare for some game for some games and even and well even well well in my school there was a friendly cricket match that was held in my in the playground of my uh, school yes i go i go well of course i in tiffin break i go outside to eat where well that's on the ground just not too far away from the a gate or the portico yes not the not the thing which is a roof a but is actually a, a very decorated place and now 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 okay so well my school has like um four floors i think yes i think it's four floors or three floors i think maybe not now let's go get on with the important stuff now what are the rights of a child he, I, and i mean what are the what are the things that are good for the child that are very that are very right for the child according to the constitution of india the rights of children include right to a free and compulsory elementary education for all children in the 6 and 14 a year 6 6 to 14 year age group year age group and well since i'm 9 years old i may be a part i may be a part of that and yes i have i have compulsory educa- edu- education i well i done well of course i done a two periodic test in my school yes and my there was i had two two periodic tests in my school and now the third one is coming and you want to know what's the fourth one it's the annual exam now you think do not mean that it's actually 100 marks it's just 80 marks just 80 yes just uh, 80 just 80 80 marks in total total Yes, to there is two main there is actually two main periodic tests the half yearly which is the second one and the and the upcoming one which is like might be in more February between February or March I think which is the annual exam the final exam okay okay now 
Now the next one is right to be protected from any hazardous employment. Means right to be protected from any very dangerous employment. Yes, in the olden days, people used to hire children for work, of for employment. That is very bad. Well, I don't know if it that true or not. I don't know. If that happens, never mind. <clears throat> okay, sorry my throat. Now, right to early childhood care and education means means the child should should have a very good childhood care and very good education. Well, my education is still going on, so I don't think I can pass my school. But I'll try my best. Wish me luck. Wish me luck for the for the third periodic test of my school. It's maybe coming in December. Yes, it's very cold. Yes, and Santa will come. Yes, Santa is not real, of course. Now, right to be protected from abuse means this part is that the child should have a lot of protection from abuse. Yes means beating up, like beating up someone. Now, right to be protected from the economic necessity to enter occupations unsuited to their age or strength. Means the child should be protected from the economic necessity to enter occupations which is actually unsuited or unperfect for their age or strength. Means for the child's age or strength. If they have enough of it, they can do it. Now, now for right to equal opportunities and facilities to develop in a healthy manner. Means the child should have a equal opportunities and facilities so it can develop in a very healthy manner. Yes. Now last one, right to freedom and dignity and guaranteed protection of childhood and youth against Ex explore exploitation means the child should have freedom and dignity yes we want we always want that and guaranteed protection of the childhood and yield against exploitation okay now here's this last one here which is children's day children's day celebration across the world yes did you know not only in india Children's Day is actually celebrated all around the world. All around the world. Maybe? Never mind. Now, Children's Day began in 1857. And now, now how does that matter? Well, you might be confused that that you may think that that Pandit that Jawaharlal Nehru Bandit was actually started that actually started Children's Day, but actually was started in 1857. Well, didn't give an exact date, but that's okay. Now, Children's Day began in 1857 by Reverend Dr. Charles Leonard in Ch Chelsea, USA, USA. Now, Children's Day actually began in 1857, long before Edu's birthday, which is by Reverend Dr. Charles Leonard that lives in Chelsea, U.S. Yes, Chelsea is a city. Now, even though Children's Day is celebrated globally by most of the countries in the world, world on June 1st, now Children's Day is celebrated globally by most of the countries not on November 14th, 14, but actually surprisingly on June 1st. Now, how does that matter? Now, Universal Children's Day takes a place annually on to November 20, just six days ahead of no 14 November. Now in India, it is the exact date is no 14 November. Yes, in India, in India, Children's Day is celebrated in no 14 November, but Universal Children's Day is celebrated annually in November 20 and 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 Children's Day which is celebrated 
globally by most of the countries is actually June 1st. Now June 4th, November 20, November 14? Now how does that also matter? It matter. I don't know why these com dates confuse me. Well, the exact one is 14 November. Yes. Yes, the original was in India. The original date was in India. Yes. Okay. Now, thank you for watching my video. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Bye and happy Juneless Day to all.